As an RRU MBA alumnus and advocate for diversity and inclusion, it is great to see this community celebrate the amazing work that is being done in this area in our boardrooms, our classrooms, and our playgrounds. I share this excellence award with RRU. As a learning institution, RRU exemplifies diversity and inclusion in all that they do. I do, however, Look forward to a day when the work I am doing is no longer award worthy and RRU's inclusive approach no longer noteworthy. I will never forget my first days at RRU. At the time, I was a senior director at CIBC in Toronto. Leaving the safe environment of my conservative financial services background, I hopped a plane to Victoria. And inside of 48 hours, I found myself sitting with a team on the RRU campus wondering how I was going to make it through the next three weeks. My team was comprised of an academic, an international journalist, a CEO, a healthcare professional, and me, a banker. What could we possibly have in common? We all came from such different backgrounds and we were so headstrong in our beliefs, I was certain this was going to be the longest three weeks of my life. But that was the beauty. The RU model, in two days, I was being challenged to think differently, to live outside my comfort zone, and to live the values of RRU. By fostering an inclusive and diverse team, we ensured an innovative output that far exceeded anything we could have accomplished independently. My experience at RRU left me with a new conviction to challenge the status quo. After graduation, I accepted a new position. As a consultant with Deloitte, I'm always seeking new opportunities and exploring new territories. As I worked more and more with clients, it became clear to me that what these clients were lacking was a comprehensive and effective diversity and inclusion strategy. Eventually, my passion won out over my fears, and it was with shaking hands and a rapidly beating heart that I shared my vision with my senior leadership team. Today I lead Deloitte's diversity and inclusion practice. And this honor affords me the opportunity to work with organizations and governments who, like me, see the competitive advantage that is gained by building diversity and inclusion into their strategy. It does, however, take courage to put diversity into action, to be inclusive and to leverage moments that matter, and to challenge the stereotypes. As a gay woman, a wife, and a mother, I deal with this every day, as does my wife and our children, Jordan and Amanda. I often feel guilty for the burden I have put on my children. After all, they are children of a gay parent. But are they really different? I am often in awe of my son and his confidence. He is unfazed by the limits that this world tries to place on him. I recall one afternoon, he invited a new friend over who I had never met. And so I asked him, did you tell him I'm gay? Jordan paused and said, no. Why should I have to tell him? He didn't tell me his parents are straight. <laughs> he was right. We've taught our children that their family is no different than anyone else's. They live in a home with parents who love them and cherish them, a home that is filled with laughter and affection, hugs and kisses, family and friends, lessons and values. As they grow older, I realize that my difference is slowly becoming their advantage. Use your power and your influence to start the conversation. Each of us really does have the power to create an inclusive Canada without the support of my amazing wife, Brandy, and the inspiration of Jordan and Amanda, I would not have the courage. So I dedicate this award to the three of them. Thank you.